Hello, welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you a tutorial of the Be Puzzled original 3D crystal puzzle polar bear with baby. Um, unfortunately, none of these pieces are numbered, so I will have to show you the piece. I'll do a description of it and you will have to find the piece. Hopefully we will be able to get it together for you. All right, let's get started. All right, first you're gonna take the little head has an indent on the bottom and that is for the neck part right here right there has an indent right there it is going to go this way with this little ledges in the front fat edges in the front just like that I'm just gonna push together so the next piece has a little part sticking up, there's one coming out right there. You're going to flip it over, it has an indent right there, So one going out, there's one coming in. The one with the little edge coming out, that's going to connect to the last piece, right into the hole. And just squeeze it together. So the next piece has the little arms, just like that. Has one going out, one going in. When you flip it over, it has another one going out and another one going in. That is going to connect just like that. The arms on top. next piece has a little thing going out right there. There's one coming out, one going in. You flip it over. It has two going in and one coming out on that side. You're gonna take the one with the part sticking out and put it into the hole right there. Squeeze it together. And last piece for the baby is the bottom part of the legs. And that part is just going to squeeze in as well. That's the baby. Now we're going to start on the big one. We're going to start with the tail. And this piece right here has a hole in the middle. has a little edge right there for the tail to grab onto. And there's one going out, there's one going in, and you're going to slide the tail just like that onto it. So next piece is this one. It has one going in, there's one coming out. And you flip it over, it has an edge going downward right there. So one going in, and another coming out. The one that has the angle on it is going to face downward, just like that, into the top of the piece, the last piece. Here's your next one. It has kind of a flat edge over here with two going in, one coming out. And you flip that over, it has two going out. The one with the two ends and the one out is going to connect to the last piece. And then you're going to take this leg, and it's the back right leg it would be if it was facing this way. You can kind of tell which ones are the back ones because they are a little wider than the front ones are. Here, I'll show you the difference. You can kind of see the difference of the width in them. The wider ones are the back ones, the thinner ones are the front ones, and that piece is going to fit right into that indent right there, just like that. And your next piece is going to be this one, it has kind of a little rounded edge right there, There's two going in, there and there, and when you flip it over, there's kind of an angle right here going downward, there's one going out. 
There's one going in. That piece with the one out and one in is going to connect to the last piece, just like that. So next piece is going to be this one. It has an angle going down right there. There's two going in. You flip it over, it has one going out and one coming in. That piece is going to connect to the last one, just like that. Okay, next piece has two going out, and you flip it over, it has one going out and one coming in. You're going to take it and put it in this way. with the two going out on top and connected at the top of the back just like that so here's your next piece it has two going in it's one coming out and on the other side it has two going out and a curve you're going to take the side with the two going out and connect it to the last one and then you're going to take your back left leg and stick it in to the indent right there. Okay, your next piece is going to be this one. It has one going out, one coming in. When you flip it over, it has two going in. The one with the two going in is going to connect right here at the top of the back. Okay, your next piece is this one. It has two going out, and you flip it over. Has two going in. The part with the two going in is going to connect at the bottom, right there. Okay, your next piece is going to be this one. Has one going in, one going out. When you flip it over, it has two going out. You're gonna take Part with the two going out and connect it at the top of the back just like that here's your next piece has one going out one coming in and when you flip it over it has two going in the part with the two going in is going to connect to the last piece right at the top of the back here's the next piece that has two going in on one side you flip it over it has two going out the one with the two going out is going to connect right here okay there's your next piece it has one going out one going in when you flip it over it has two going in you're gonna take the one with the two going in and connect it at the bottom just like that here is your next piece it has one going in and one coming out you flip it over it has two going out you're going to take the two going out connect it to the bottom right there here's next piece it has one going out one coming in you flip it over, it has two going out. Part with the two going out is going to connect at the top of the back, which is right there. Here is the next piece. It has three going in. It's so one, two, three. And then you flip it over, it has two going in. The one with the two going in is going to connect to the last piece with that extra indent towards the front and you are going to take the front right foot and put it into that indent just like that okay, your next piece is this one right here it has three going in on one side and two going out on the other gonna take the two going out put it on 
last piece with that indent on the top. And you're going to take this piece as one going out, one coming in. And when you flip it over, it has two going out. Part with the two going out is going to connect at the top of the back. Just like that. And you're going to take the leg, the front left leg, and stick it in the hole right there. Here is the next piece. It has two going out on one side. You flip it over. It has an angle here as well. It has one going out and one going in. The one with the one going out and one going in is going to connect right at the bottom by the legs. Just like that. Your next piece is going to be this one. It has one going in, one coming out. And you flip it over, it has two going in. The two going in are going to connect to the last piece, just like that. Your next piece is going to be this one. It has a curve down at the bottom here. It's one going in, one coming out. And you flip it over, it has two going in. The one with the two going in is going to connect by the left leg right there. Here's your next piece. It has one going out, one going in, and a curve down here. And when you flip it over, it has two going out. The two going out are going to connect by the right leg and go towards the top of the back. Here's your next piece. It has two flat edges. There's two sticking out on this side. And then you flip it over. It has one going out, one going in. The one going out and one going in are gonna connect right there by the legs. Just like that. The next piece is this piece right here. It has one going out, one going in flip it over, it has two going in. The two going in are going to connect to the last piece. Just like that. The next one is this piece right here. It has one big indent on this side. And you flip it over, it has one going in and one coming out. The one going in and coming out are going to fit to the last piece. Your next piece is this one. It has a hole in the middle. Square on one side around the hole. You flip it over, it has one big one going out. The one going out is going to connect just like that to the last piece. And then you're going to take the pole, stick it in, and screw it in. You don't want to do it too tight though because you could break your puzzle. So that's enough. And then you're going to take the head and slide it into place along that edge right there. I'm just gonna slide it down. It's gonna fit over the edge and slide it into place. Just like that. Alright, now we got them all together, so the next part is going to be the stickers that it came with. It's the parent ones and the child ones. We're gonna start with the parent. Take one of the eyes, and you can see where they're supposed to go. There's an indent for them. Just stick it into place. Take the left eye. Into the other indent on the other side. And lastly, take the nose okay, 
Okay, and that's all the stickers for the adult. I'm gonna take the little one now and put the stickers on the little one. the left eye do the same and finally the nose a little hard getting the stickers on for this one. They're really tiny stickers, but that's what it looks like. The stickers on it. And this is what it should look like when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.